Hi again, everyone. Ken from Woodling Woods, uh, back with another figure carving. This time we're going to do um, these. Uh, this type of figure over here. It's an older, older lady. Um, we're going to call her Bubba. How's that sound? And the figure basically is uh, it's from a Harold Enlow uh, book. Um, it's pretty much uh, his uh, his his uh, figure style. I've, I've changed it slightly, but uh, basically, um, if you're looking for the figure itself, it's uh, Harold Enlow, and I think it's uh, carving the Ozark uh, characters. And it's an older book of his. But basically, that's um, that's what we're going to be doing. The block we're going to be using is basswood. It's uh, one and a half inches, one and a half inches by three inches, and um, so that's it. You want to get yourself a piece of basswood if you're going to carve this figure, three inches this way, inch and a half, inch and a half. Uh, we're going to put some uh, guide marks in here just to allow us to draw the figure on the block. First we're going to divide the each face in in half. This is the halfway point. I'm going to just speed through this section here. This is you can you can kind of see what I'm doing and I'll stop when I have some kind of comments. Now we're going to look at the uh, halfway point on the block. It's an inch and a half in from the bottom or the top. Okay, there you go. So we got the block basically divided into four quadrants, top and bottom. And these are just reference lines. The other one, the other line we're going to draw now is a basically half inch from from the center line to each outside. So half this area here is uh, half inch. So we're gonna draw that down over here. And I'm gonna go all around the block, same kind of thing, uh, fronts and sides. Now I'm going to divide the. Um, I'm going to do some some marks for the um, uh, uh, again to assist in the drawing, and we're going to uh, basically do half inch squares or half inch from here and here again. So, um, I already have those marked, but I'm just going to make sure. Yep, half inch. So half inch over here. And we're going to go all the way around with that as well. And then the only other line we're going to make is uh, for her for her shoes, basically um, down over here. That's going to protrude a little bit. We're going to go up. I'm going up maybe about uh, three eighths of an inch or so. Okay, there we go. Blocks are marked. Now with this, we can draw the figure in here. What we're going to do first is draw the front profile, carve that away, and then um, come back in and draw the uh, side profile and carve that away. Some of these lines are going to get carved away when when we when we're um, carving out the front and side profiles but that's okay some of them will remain and it'll give us a guide to mark them again i'm going to be just transferring or you know transferring i'm just going to be drawing the uh the figure on here Okay, we're back. Um, oh, one other line I forgot to draw 
where her apron's going to end. So we, because we're going to make a, a cut down over here, you can see where the apron ends. So we're going to have to mark that on here. You want to keep it a little bit above the shoes because you're going to have to get in there and, and cut away some wood. So don't make it too narrow. Okay, there you go. Everything's uh, set now for us to basically cut out all this section over here is what we're going to be removing. Now, if you have a scroll saw, I guess even a band saw, um, you can make quick work of that and, and get rid of that pretty quickly. Uh, but we'll just carve it away. Again, all I'm going to do is carve back the, the uh, front Profile. I'm not going to carve right to the line. I'm going to give myself a, a, a little leeway, a, a little wiggle room, so to speak. Anyway, uh, I'm going to grab my knife. I'll be right back. And uh, I'm going to speed through that carving because literally all I'm doing is, is getting rid of all this. So basically just uh, chopped away at the, uh, the profile, get rid of some of the excess wood over there. And again, most of the corners are going to come. Um, the drawing, obviously, a lot of it got removed, but that's okay because we still have guidelines. It's going to be easy to replace those. And that's exactly what I'm, what I'm going to do now. I'm going to take the, uh, the existing guidelines and just redraw them because then what we're going to do is draw a side profile. And then we're going to cut away. Uh, the side profile and then once we get to that point then we can start refining the figure uh, what we're going to do now is basically draw the side profile in and cut that away um, I'm going to draw a, a basically a, a um, picture in here using the pencil marks as a guide when you're and the, these are good to use when you're if you're transferring a pattern or if you're even designing your own to have some pencil marks you, you know where you know kind of uh, midpoints are this is the middle part where the eyes are middle uh, portion of the head um, you have the shoulder area over here uh, the chest area over here and then one line we didn't draw on the bottom here is uh, where your feet are going to be. So these are good for um, whether you're transferring a pattern or even designing your own. You can you can uh, easily um, use these guides to keep things fairly symmetrical on each side. It's kind of uh, a little more difficult to draw on the um, on on a surface like this because you know obviously it's kind of rough, but it'll give you a, a guide to work with. Basically, now we're going to be getting rid of all this wood, and you can alter the the pattern to your heart's content if you want to make her thinner, chubbier, whatever the case may be. Um, but uh, there you go. So now what I'm going to do is is remove all this wood over here. 
and maybe a little difficult to see here, but um, we're just going to, again, going to kind of cut through this, move through this pretty quickly. Most of the front picture here, uh, drawing, excuse me, is going to disappear because we're cutting most of it away. Um, but uh, we'll, we'll still have some guidelines, and then we can redraw uh, what's needed. I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. Um, basically, just um, removed, like I said, the wood from all around. We're doing basically, we're creating basically, uh, essentially, somewhat of a rough out. Again, if you had a, if you have a scroll saw, uh, band saw, you, or, you know, I guess even a coping saw, you, you could probably, you could probably do this uh with that to some extent you're still gonna have to come back with a knife obviously and 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 um, make some adjustments but you can uh, you can certainly do that um okay next we're going to do a little bit more drawing uh, reinstate some of the lines that uh, were carved away and um redraw some things and then we'll start adding some detail um I'll be right back with that. Okay, we're back. Um, I redrew some of the lines that we're going to be using to refine the figure and on um, both sides. Basically, we're going to start taking down the edges quite a bit more on the front and the, and the sides. Then we're going to work a little bit on the face. So um, let's work a little bit on the head and, and face right now. What I'm going to do now is cut the back out, leaving some wood here for her bun. She's got a little bun in the back, so we're going to do that. So I'm going to put a stop cut over here to do that and just start cutting down to it. And again, another stop cut on each side. We'll deepen it as we go. Okay, so we basically cut out the wood around where her the bun in the back of her head is going to be. And we're gonna basically start to taper down the back of her skull. So we're gonna remove 
this wood over here to taper the back of her head. Okay, let's do a little work on the face. This is where her nose is going to be. And this is her eye line. On a woman's face, you want to keep the nose area, the transition from the nose to the brow fairly soft. You don't want any defined lines if you can prefer. This is kind of stylized because her eyes aren't fully carved, they're just painted on. But you can see here, we want a smooth transition as much as possible. And the female face, you want to keep as much of it smooth as possible, no harsh lines. I mean, obviously you could in, in certain situations, you may want that, but in this case we don't. So we're gonna start basically just paring back her forehead and where her nose is going to be. Remember, leave a little, ha leave a little wood up in the top here because we are gonna form some hair. So keep that in mind. Try to keep it symmetrical as much as possible. Use your guidelines. And then let's come under the nose and cut the bottom. Make a stop cut there. Be careful doing that because if you slip when you're making these type of cuts, you'll, you'll shave the nose right off. We're going to push the nose a little bit further back in the face by making stop cuts underneath each uh, where each nostril should be. And then come back, make another stop cut, and then just remove some of that wood around there. So that effectively pushes the nose back just a little bit. Again, we're gonna we're gonna continue trimming it back even further. But this this will get us started. Every so often it helps to check from the top to see how things are going and you can kind of get an idea of whether or not you're you're removing a wood from each side of the face um, appropriately. It looks like this side's a little bit high so we'll remove a little bit more. Keep the mouth area slightly curved since on your face the mouth is curved around the jaw, so keep that in mind too. Continually refer to your guidelines to keep the general form symmetrical. Again, uh, some variation is is fine. It's it doesn't have to be perfect, but uh, you know keep in mind you want to you want to do your best to keep it as fairly symmetrical as possible.
Okay, that's basically um, where we want to be right now with the head. I think now what we'll do is start to work a little bit on the body. Okay, let's um, let's carve back this area a little bit. We're going to round round it out the back of her legs and um, and sides over here. Keep in mind, she does have an apron on. So there is going to be an apron tie around the back. So we're going to leave some wood back in this area over here and then down to, uh, you know, don't, don't shave it all the way, uh, unless you don't want to tie like that, and, um, or an apron. Then you can do it with that all together. But keep in mind, we're, we're going to want to keep some wood in here to, uh, to allow us to carve that out once we, that's going to be one of the final steps, adding that type of detail. Okay, same thing with the front. We're going to start carving that back just a little bit, the uh, sides. Okay, for her arms, we're going to, again, the arms tuck underneath the apron. They come, um, this is approximately the midway point on the figure. So when you're drawing your center line, that's where we're at. So you can see there's still a fair amount of wood that needs to, needs to come off. But we're going to start getting some lines in here for, for the arms. What I tend to do is uh, I want to make the arms, you, you don't want to cut them too narrow because then when you're trying to round them, they can turn out to be a little bit skinnier. So, you know, uh, draw, uh, cut, make your cuts a little bit, um, unless you make your lines wide enough, make your cuts sufficient, give yourself sufficient room so you can, you can round out that, um, that arm as needed.
Okay, now what I want to do is start carving the apron. So I'm going to continue, I'm going to redraw these lines here that got cut off when we were doing the front. Because essentially the arm has to tuck behind the apron. So you're going to have to remove enough wood here to allow the arm to tuck behind it. So the apron comes in front of the arm. So, you know, keep that in mind. I can see we're beginning to tuck the arm behind the apron. We're going to have to go deeper than that, though. Okay, now I'm going to cut the top part of the apron. It's going to basically come over the arm, underneath her, her uh, chest. And basically around to the other side. We're going to roll the apron around the upper part of the arm. So we cut in there and then we cut the arm down into it. Okay, basically we're going to wind up doing the same thing for the other side here.
her back you can see there's a little it's kind of rounded in this area and that's open to interpretation how much of a uh, I guess um, of a hump <laughs> you want to give her uh, I did one with maybe a little bit more pronounced so you know slightly slightly different uh, again it's it's all in you know how you want to do it what kind of look you're going for And so we don't forget, let's draw in a line for where her apron string is going to be. So that's going to come from under the elbow, basically wrap around and come up the other side. And then she's going to have a tie somewhere. It doesn't have to be right in the middle. This will just remind us to leave some of that wood around. Okay, we can highlight uh, around where the apron strings lay on her back. Basically stop cuts along each side and you're going to go back and just kind of remove the wood up to that cut. So it essentially uh, lifts the, the, uh, the apron string from, from the dress. Okay, and then just bring down the wood so it flows naturally. Okay, now I'm going to go back to the front and just finish up carving around the apron. Okay, we'll be able to get in there a little bit better once we bring down the uh, legs a little bit. I like to keep a little bit of a, a mounded area. In this area where her arm's going underneath there because the idea is her hand is underneath that section so we can keep that mounded up just slightly.
Okay. Speaking of shoes, let's uh, let's think about that. We're going to basically have her dress come down and go around her shoe, slipper, whatever she's wearing. So it's going to come down like that. So the shoes are going to, the dress is going to be um, outside of the uh, shoe over here on both sides. There you go. We basically uh, cut the shoes back a little bit when we and we're gonna have a little bit more to go. So they're they look like they're sticking out from the dress and the dress is going around them. So let's uh, use using our guide. We'll split the the um, the shoes apart over here. So we'll just make a line in here and then just forming like a V cut. And then just basically um, start rounding out the shoes, however you want them to look. I'm guessing they're going to be kind of like, almost like slippers or something like that. So we're going to bring them down. Obviously, they're, they're very bulky here, so we want to taper down. We want to bring the shoe itself down further, like that. So we want to start removing some wood from the front over here. We're going to just start uh, again, starting uh, to, to refine the figure. I'm going to clean up a little bit, uh, drop the knife, and I'll be right back. Okay. Um, I drew in some guide marks for where her hair is going to be, so I'm just going to cut that out. So just using the knife, I'm going to just go right in there and cut along that line. So that's it. Then we can come back and then bits we can just remove that section we cut out. Same thing on the other side. I'm going to part her hair basically right down the middle where the line was. And just make a line in there, stop cuts, kind of cut up to it.
I'm just going back and refining areas around her nose and her cheeks. Draw a little mouth line in here. I'm going to just taper the chin as it goes into the lower lip just a bit. And then we'll put our knife in here and, and cut across. Start on one side, work our way. Turn it over and go from the other side. Then we'll cut up to that line just a bit, forming the lower lip. And then we'll cut down from the middle of the lip to the outside to form the upper lip. Then I'm just going to come in here at the end of the mouth, put a little notch in there, and remove some of this lip so it doesn't look too bulgy on the bottom. So we gave her a bit of a smile. And her eyes are basically going to be here and here. Now what we can do is um, just go around and start refining the figure. The rest is just small refinements as we go. We've gotten most of the detail in. Um, what I think I'll do since I, uh, I'll bring out a couple gouges and make quick work of going around some of the areas to, um, to even them out. So I'm going to just kind of zoom through that really fast. So basically just using a flex cut V gouge. There it is. I think it's a, a 70 or maybe a 60. And I'm just going to go around here. Okay, now I'm going to take the knife and start refining it even more. We're just going to start taking away some excess wood that we don't need. And this is the part where you just slowly refine it. And you can make small alterations to get it the way you want. There's no set 
design here. However you want it to come out. Like I said, if you want her taller, use something that's bigger than three inch piece of basswood. If you want her fatter, maybe something that's a little wider. If you don't want her to have a bun, don't put a bun in her hair. There's a lot of small alterations you can do. And these are the type, type of figures that they take a little while to carve, but they're they're really good for teaching you uh, three-dimensional perspective in figure carving. There's enough detail, but not overwhelming, that even someone with, um, uh, you know, just a, a little bit of experience can, can really tackle. It's not that complicated. It's not a, not a fully posed figure that's going to stump a lot of people that are very difficult to do and you need a lot more tools and just a knife and maybe one gouge or so. Um, but that's it. They're not all going to come out exactly the same. They shouldn't. They should all look different. They're individual characters and you should aim for that. Aim for a little variation from one to, to uh, the next if you're going to do multiple versions of this. And so I'm just, again, going around. There's a number of things that need to be dealt with here. The the apron's a little thick, so we're going to I'm just basically scaling that back a bit. That's why I said initially, don't try to carve it perfect the first go around. You 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 always want to leave yourself a little room. You might want to modify something. You might want to change uh, uh, some feature in the in the design and if you leave yourself a little room you can go back and alter different things I'm just gonna do a little more clean up here and then I'll be right back Okay, basically I uh, just went around, did a little bit more refining of the figure. 
and that's really about it. I'm going to put a v-neck type of shirt on her. So I'm just going to draw that in. To cut it, I'm just going to put my knife in here, make a cut on the other side, make a cut. Make sure they meet. And then basically come up from each side and scoop out that wood. Okay, so we're, we're pretty set here. I think um, the only really remaining thing to do is maybe to pull out a couple gouges if you want, or you can use a knife. I think this one I use just a knife. This one I pulled out some gouges and added some more texturing in the back. So either way, you, you can you can go about it either way. I'll, I'll kind of show you real quick what I'm referring to. Um, in the hair, you can you can use um, well here. Let me grab a couple gouges. This is a number nine gouge, uh, Swiss made. Um, not sure what the what the size of it is. Uh, the slope uh, the slope is nine. And it looks like it might be um, like a six millimeter, maybe. And then you're just going to basically go in here, take some cuts out of her hair to look like it's pulled backwards a little bit. Maybe same thing in her bun a bit. Just make a couple passes. Again, the hair is wrapped around in the bun here, so you want to kind of go in all directions. And we're going to do the same thing essentially on the other side. You're going to basically be Pulling some hair back like that. That's why I said in the beginning it's a good idea to leave some wood because you might want to you might want to do something like this where you're then what I do is I'll go back with a, a V gouge and maybe just trim this up a little bit over here. And kind of start from the, the front. So it looks like it's actually pulled back in from the front. And then go into your the cut you already made and add a little bit more depth to it. And even between the cuts. Same thing in the bun. Go around texturing that with a little bit of a wrapping. A 
uh, wrapping V-cuts. And same thing on this side of her hair. There you go. Quick uh, work on the hair there. Gives it a little texture. Makes her face look uh, a little differently. Definitely different than some of the other ones. Again, we're, we're, we're not trying to make him exact. We're going to just kind of go with it and develop the look that you like each time you do it. And then for the um, for the dress, you can add some texture with your knife. You can make some swooping cuts like this with with the uh, grain of the wood. Kind of makes it look a little like there's some folds. Same thing with the apron. And if you want, you can come back with uh, gouges and, and add some additional detail. Maybe have the dress that she's wearing kind of start to bunch up around her where it comes to meets her shoes. So it just starts to give it a little bit more texture. And in her shoes you can you can even add some texture. Let's say they're slippers and you want to add some, make it look like they're fluffy or fuzzy. Sometimes I'll go back over very lightly with the knife, very shallow, around some of the gouge marks I made, just to soften them up a bit. Even on her hair, same, same kind of thing. I'd even use maybe a slightly more shallow gouge. This is a number 11, probably three millimeter, uh, another Swiss cut. And this will add even finer little textures to her shoes. And again, try to, try to, if you're going to, if you're going for like fuzzy type slippers or something like that, maybe aim for a more random distribution and if you use different size gouges you can you can mix it up a little bit and bring it all the way down and we're getting pretty darn close here this has been a fairly long video and I appreciate everyone who's watched the video this far. It's a bit long. 
and I hope not too boring. I hope it was interesting to some extent. And if you'd like more of this, I th she has a, um, in the book, uh, again, this is a character derived from uh, a book by Harold Enlow, um, written, I believe, in the 70s. And um, I believe she has a husband. And I may be doing that. He's kind of a hillbilly. And it's kind of a cool character. So I think that may be the next character. If, if uh, let me know if you're interested in seeing that, and uh, I'll work on I'll work on that. And if there's um, something else you'd like to see, let me know as well. Somebody I made the suggestion for doing uh, a female face, and um, I did play around with that a bit to to try to do it mostly with a knife. It's uh, it's kind of challenging. It depends if you're if you're going for a, a an older an older person you can you can you can get away with that i did a uh, witch character and you know in that in that regard doesn't really look all that different than than like an old guy but um a young female character or or someone who's not an older person can be can be kind of uh, difficult to do um, with just a knife because it's the, like I said the key with female characters is keeping things as smooth as possible and um, you're, You kind of want to do that. She's this this character. She's kind of a, a slightly older person. So we um, We can get away with a few like hard features and and what have you but again, we, we still we still we don't want her uh, hard and craggy like an old like an old geezer and um We see, we see too much of that just looking in the mirror anymore. But um, we kind of want to keep the female characters just a little bit softer looking. It, it just looks more feminine. And at this point, I'm going to just um, clean her up a little bit. And then when I, when I finish that, I'm going to come back and show you. Alrighty. Okay. There we are. She's basically done. Uh, she's with her two friends. And um, that's uh, how it all came out. I'm going to turn each of them here so you can get an idea of what they look like from the side. All a little different, one way or another. Slightly small little changes. Um, you know, nothing, nothing too big, but uh, just in general, just to make them all look a little bit different. So that's pretty much it. We're all set. It was a bit uh, long, the video, but um, thank you for hanging in there. I appreciate it. And like I said, if you're interested in seeing the carving of her husband, the little hillbilly guy with a hat and big beard, uh, about the same size as her, maybe a little bit shorter, let me know. I'll plan on that for my next video. And thank you once again, and happy carving. See you next time. Take care.